Hey guys, Wizard Coding here. And I'm going to teach you the wonderful ways of Discord bot coding. Now, for this tutorial, I'm using Node.js and Discord.js. So now that I know that, that <laughs> now that you know that, let's get started. So first, what you want to do, want to open Google, go to Node.js.org. Open that. Now you should bring bring it to the page. What you want to do is then you want to use click this download for Windows 64 byte and just go through the normal inst installation process. I'm not going to do it since I already have it installed, so I, just trust me that this is not a virus or anything like that. So after you after you installed Node.js, you want to make a you want to go to a new folder. So I'm just gonna call this YouTube. You no, I'll just call this tutorial bot. Now after you do that, right click. No, I'm just kidding. Don't right click. Because as you can see, there's no setting for open console. You want to shift right click, open command window here. Click that. I want to do M npm. Well, first do node v. Basically, what that's going to do is show you the version. As you can see, I'm using version 6.9.1. After you've done that, you want to do npm install discord.js. npm install discord.js. Basically, what that is, is it installing the files for discord.js so you can use them and implement them into your plug. I'm not plugging. Into your bot. So then just press enter. Wait a little bit. It's installing. And don't worry about the one 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 one. Um, that's just like the edit extra stuff, but you don't need to worry about that. Then you want to press exit. And after that, you want to go to atom.io. So atom.io. Then you want to click download Windows installer. Just continue. Um, basically, um, just continue this. And basically, what it is is a text editor, but for language coding languages after you've done that you want to go to http slash slash finny finite real reality dot git hub dot io slash permissions slash question mark v equals zero and if you guys were wondering why I was doing that it's because I oh then it yeah I'm just gonna copy and paste it I'll put it in the description below so just copy and paste into there now just see it brings this up so you want to give it administrator want to give it all these so I usually just click that and then I click it click that click this click that and now you go to see this. I don't have a bot. What do I do? I don't. I can't invite my bot. Well, what you want to do is you want to go to discordapp.com. Then either log in or open. I have open since I saved my thing on here. And now this should pop up. You want to delete channels slash at me. You want to change that to developers. Go to close app, my applications. And I already have it right here. But if you don't have it. You want to click a new app, name it whatever, name it whatever, and then you can give it a uh, app icon if you want. So I'm just going to press cancel, tutorial bot. Now as you can see, here's the client ID. You want to copy that, go over here. Now as you can see, client ID right here. You want to paste that into here. Now click on this. Oh, baby, because I did create a bot. Um, create a bot usually, yes, do it. We'll see. We'll v. I did not paste it in there. Oh, because I have this base into it. Now let's try it. Okay, after all that trial and error, we finally got it done. Now, add it to it, whatever server you want. I just have a bot test server, so I could 
example these. Then you want to click authorize. Now shipping users place says authorize. You may now close out of this window or tab. I close out of it. Now what you want to do is you want to do go back to here, tutorial bot, right click, new, text document, and you call this app. You name it whatever, just make sure they have .js. Click yes. Now it should have this little icon right here. I'll highlight it. Okay. I'll highlight it. That icon right there. So that one. So then what you want to do is you want to go back. You want to open your atom. I'll just drag this over here. You want to open your atom. I just get it loads up. And there it is. So I'm going to do file, new window, delete. Okay. Now what you want to do is you want to do, you close out of these. Close out of this. You can do file, open folder. I actually clicked the wrong one. File, open folder, or desktop. Let me just find my toy bot. Click on that. Select folder. Now you will see this app.js. So now what you want to do is you want to go to this link. Just search up discord.js. Now Hydrobolt, Discord slash Discord JS is acceptable or this one. Discord.js. I usually like using Hydrobolt and then you want to scroll down to find example usage. Copy this. Control C. Then go back to your app.js. Paste. Now client, you can change this to bot if you want, or you can keep it to client, and then you can do bot. Bot. And bot. And then you see this thing called your token. What you want to do? Um, before we get to that, I want to just say some things about the token. Okay. Basically, what the token is is it's your password to your bo bot. Bot. Okay. So basically, what the token is is a password to your bot. So I want to recommend giving this to anybody. Don't put it in URLs. Don't put it. Don't paste it. Well, you can paste it, but don't paste it to messages or GitHub. Don't do anything like that. So you want to make sure this is private. And by the time you see this video, I saw that. By the time you see this video, my Discord bot token will be changed. And sorry about that noise in the background. So basically, what you want to do is going to go back to DiscordApp.com, click Open, change channels like last time, Developers. Then you'll see my applications. You want to click on the bot that you created. And then you'll see this thing called token. Wow, it's just like the token on here. It says your token. Yep. So now what you want to do is you want to click reveal. And then here's your token. Remember, this is private and you don't want to give it to anybody. So remember, at the end of this video, by the time you see this video, it will, you will not be able to use this. Just paste that in. And there you go. So now, if you did. So now we'll save. And now to start your bot, you want to go back to the tutorial bot, shift, shift click on the command window, and you want to do node, then app.js, press enter, or whatever you named it, and it says, I'm ready, as you can see. Now if I go to my Discord, test bot, as you can see, it says tutorial bot. And now if I did ping, it says pong. Now there might be some troubles with this. Say you wanted it to say the same thing, reply to you, say the same thing that you just put. Watch, if I did change this to ping, save, and to stop your body, you press control C to go and to use the command that you did last time, you just press up on the arrow key and then start. Now, what bots do is they reply to themselves. So, if I did ping, oh no, you want to, I, I messed up. You want to do change this to message.channel.send.send message. S save full C JS and it should say I'm ready. Now if you go to this and you do ping, it says ping 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 ping. It stops for a little bit and it goes this way. And then it'll go ping 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 ping. So say you don't want that. To say to say fix this, 
you want to go to here do if message dot author dot bot return return okay so now watch it will only activate if it's the person that wrote it not the bot so watch if I did ping I messed up somewhere Hmm, I think what I did wrong. So it looks like that's not working because it's probably just still spamming. Yep, still spamming. Did I save? Oh, no, nope, I never saved. That's why. Remember to always save it. Okay, guys, because I barely forget to save. And now if I did ping, he just does it once. So I fixed that issue. Now, say you want to prefix. So we can stop this. What you want to do is you want to do that. And then you want to do const prefix equals I was gonna make mines X nah, dash and then they go so this is your prefix now you want to do if and I messed up something over here okay if does message dot content dot starts does not start with Starts with prefix return. Now it's never gonna work because watch if I did if I did this and I did dash ping. So I'm gonna reply. So to fix this, what you wanna do is you wanna go to here and you wanna do message. I think you wanna do this. I'm going to do message content content dot starts with prefix plus ping. And then we we can say just do pong. Now C control S. Play this. And now if I did ping, nothing happens. But if I did ping. It says Pong. So I hope you guys, um, this is the first tutorial on how to make a Discord bot. I hope this guys helped you with making a starter bot. And the next tutorial we'll be teaching you arguments and stuff like that. Um, as always, I want you to practice Discord bot and always know Dojs. So please take care and like, comment, subscribe, and bye bye.